Well, what we have to realize is that there is a better way to trade in a simple and elegant way. But first, let me outline the three stages in which prices in the markets move either up or down. First of all, it's the big money that goes in. That's pretty easy to know. Secondly, it's the not such big money in, but it's the smaller funds, if you like, that follow suit. And then third player that goes into the markets is the herd, the lemmings, the lambs to the slaughter, if you like. But what we want is to be with the big smart money, or at least not too far behind. But that's only going to be possible if you have the proper tools that can help us find and follow the smart money. Now, I've always had a very sound way of trading myself. Um, trading breakout patterns is truly one of the best ways of trading that's endorsed by many of the, many of the world's legendary and greatest traders, um, people like Bill O'Neill, uh, etc. But even with that, I still wanted something extra, something that would help improve the odds of winning even more. Now, you may or may not know, and you should know after this uh, introduction, but uh, I am an options specialist. Uh, but this has nothing to do with options. What we're about to talk about tonight has nothing to do with options. But over the years, I've been collecting a lot of data, and that's currently up to about 350 million rows of it, to be precise. And every night, that database of stock and options data just gets bigger and bigger. Now, in amongst that data, are some real gems, some real diamonds of information, but they needed to be excavated and cut and polished. And here's the story of how the OVI, my new indicator, came into existence. Basically last year, one of my students was asking me how come I was able to make these great calls consistently in the markets. And my answer was, A, through the chart patterns that I look at, and there are only a couple I really look at uh, regularly and uh, as my staple. and B, through the options data that I could see. Now, at the time, that options data was just a big bunch of numbers, no, nothing visual, but I knew exactly what to look for and where to look for it. And it suddenly occurred to me during our conversation that my student couldn't actually see what I was seeing. So I explained it to him as kind of like an imaginary line that literally just traveled up and down. That was how I was creating a mental picture of all these rows of data and numbers in my head. So literally at that moment when we were speaking, the OVI, my new indicator, was born. This is an indicator that is based on options data but helps us spy on the markets and what the big players are doing and what they're up to. Because it's in these other markets that a lot of the hidden money is traded in the hidden markets like the options markets. So all I had to do now was just to get someone really bright to help engineer the whole thing for me and make it into this line that I was seeing in my mind. You see, I was seeing all this activity in the markets and painting a mental picture of that options activity from all the options data. And the mental picture I drew was literally a simple line that went up and down. But I was still wanting to trade my favorite pattern, which is breakouts, because they've served me well, they've served my students well, and they are some of the best patterns to break to, to actually trade. And when I looked at my new OVI line, and then combined it with my favorite patterns, what I saw was, was really enlightening. Because when a stock was poised for a breakout, when I combined it with an OVI that was in its favor, that going in the same direction, when I combined the OVI with that pattern, it was leading to some phenomenal trading opportunities. And I then started literally to email my students with a lot more forthright views on the markets and what was happening and what I thought was going to happen. And typically, we were right on the money. And of course, uh, this certainly didn't go unnoticed and my students started asking me how could I see all this so well especially when it was proving to be so uncannily right so and that just includes by the way um, on the 26th of April recently when I wrote that volatility was on the way even though the market that day was making a new high well here's the second big lesson of the evening I was getting this incredible intuition and access to great looking trades by using the OVI in conjunction with the flags and breakout patterns that I really love to trade anyway. So the equation is this, OVI plus chart pattern equals clarity and massively enhanced probability of success. It will also give a warning as to when the markets are poised to do something 
important and potentially go a little uh, funky, if you like. And that's a critical part of it. It's not only to find great trades, but also when to know when to trade. So with that in mind, let's now look at the first example of the charts that uh, I'm going to show you. And this is at around the time that I was really getting excited about the OBI. I'd managed to create a line out of it. I'll show you where that is in a second. And a few months in, we were getting just really excited about the possibilities and what we were seeing in the markets that other people we knew could not see. So in this particular chart, we've got basically what is known to be a classic kind of head and shoulders pattern. Now, if you haven't traded head and shoulders or haven't seen them before, don't worry. But what you can see, and I'm sure you can see here, I've highlighted it on the chart, is we've got a high made here, which comes down, then forms a higher high. So you've got a shoulder and a head, but you know it's going to be a shoulder and a head when the next shoulder comes and starts to roll over. So we get another high, but it's lower than the second high. So we've got this sort of head and shoulders kind of appearance, and it just is what it looks like, basically. Now, to normal traders, they would be looking to short this stock if the stock went below this support line here, which is this yellow dotted line. But what I was seeing was something completely different. Yes, of course, I could see there was a head and shoulders, but what I could also see, coming down here, just follow my mouse, is that the OVI had been positive for many months. And that's why I've shaded this whole area in blue. The OVI was positive basically the whole time, apart from the odd day where it peekabooed down below the zero line, but literally just for a day, and then popped straight back up. Now, even though the OVI is drifting down a bit here, it's still very much in positive territory. And I felt strongly enough to tell people about, at that time, I said, you know what, Dolman's looks good to go long, provided it can get over and above sort of around 170. Now, 170 or just above 170 is right above the head part of this head and shoulder. So it's right above that resistance part. So I was looking for this to potentially turn around rather than keep going down because I was seeing that there was positivity here and the indicator had been very, very useful up to this point. So let's take a look and see what happened next. Well, what happened was Goldman's did an about turn and started to go upwards. Now, as it started to go up, what I was noticing is as it was approaching 170 and near that breakout point, the OVI was surging. And I just felt at this point, this thing is going to break up through that resistance and it's going to fly. This looks like the most probable outcome. I'll still wait until it goes past that breakout area. But right now, there's a very good chance that it is going to break out through there and that you can set up a trade to take advantage of that. And that right now, you could also say that this is definitely a head and shoulders failure. This thing is not going to go down. This thing is going to go up at this point. Now, we still don't make the trade just yet. We make the trade as the stock breaks through or we put in a stop limit order, buy stop limit order to take advantage as the stock breaks out through the high that was made back in August right here. So let's see what happened next. Well, this is exactly what happened next. There's the head and shoulders in the blue shading here. And what happens is we surge up and through and make money on this trade without ever going into drawdown. Drawdown is basically where a trade makes a loss before we hope it makes a profit, but here it doesn't ever go into loss-making territory. It surges up and keeps going pretty much. And we've got at least 10 to 12 or even more points from Goldman Sachs, which couldn't really have been easier. And I managed the trade by use of a simple trend line. Again, I will show you that in the Trade the Banks course because there are some niceties to how we put together a trading plan. But basically what we've had here is a beautiful bullish breakout. Now, a lot of people were thinking this was a head and shoulders and the stock was going to go down, but we didn't. And what you'll see when you go through the Trade the Banks course is loads of examples. And literally, you could have stuck to just a few stocks. And when they all make the patterns, then that's the time to go ahead and do this.